my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another demo slash review video. So today I have an interesting product for you guys. I have some Triart Art Noise Academic Acrylic Paint and um, they come in jugs like this and they're really cool. They're essentially just student grade, you know, acrylic paint um, and I think that they're great. I've used them a little bit, not anything I've made a video out of or, you know, anything like that, but I have been playing with them and I have to say I quite like them. So this is what they look like. So they come in, this is a 500 milliliter jar or jug, I guess. Um, and I have red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. Uh, so essentially they are just jugs of acrylic paint. They are non-toxic as it says over here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they're really cool. So basically they have a pop top to where you can squeeze the acrylic out. And these actually came to me doubly sealed. So they had a plastic around this and then underneath, um, oh, if I can get it open over here, it had um, a foam cap as well. And this is what the color looks like. It's really pretty. And uh, they have a bit of a smell. It's not a big deal though. The purple one kind of smells grapey and maybe that's just because my brain is weird. But I think it smells a little grapey. But that's, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, if you want to check these acrylics out, I will have a link down in the description below to where you can do so. I'm really excited to show you guys these because no, they may not be artist quality, but they are student quality. And I know a lot of you that watch this are, they're, you're not professionals, you know, you're younger and you may want to get into acrylics. And I feel like this would be a really great way to do so. Um, these are not very expensive um, and they actually come in larger sizes as well. They come in two liters with a pump. Um, but I think, you know, if you want to practice your acrylics and you know, you don't really know where to go or buy acrylics, I would definitely recommend these they're made from the same materials as their artist quality, which means they're going to be a little bit higher quality anyway, and they are 100% acrylic polymer emulsion. And according to this bottle, they say that they're water permanent when dry, which is exciting. And I don't know, I feel like these are just great, uh, especially if you wanna practice or you're a beginner and you really don't know what to get into. Like as far as acrylics, I feel like these would be a great starting point. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the swatches, but before I do so, I want to go ahead and disclaimer that I am not being paid or sponsored to make this video. These products were sent to me free for review, but I'm going to be giving my complete honest opinion. So um, honestly though, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the swatches and I will talk a little bit further about them. Alright, so I am going to squirt a little bit out here. As you can see, they are slightly liquidy. As you saw just now, it was a little liquidy when coming out of the um, container, but that is okay with me because some of my favorite acrylics are liquidy. So I am just going to spread this around and give you guys a good smooth swatch. This paint's really pretty, I think. Um, one thing to note is that it is relatively transparent. Um, I'm going to water it down down here a little bit just so you can kind of see how it works with water. And uh, yep, there's our first swatch. Um, I think it's really pretty. It's really vibrant, especially for being a student grade paint. Um, and you know, this is also good for teachers. I never said that earlier, but this is also good for teaching, especially if you know, you've got a class you wanna teach and you're gonna teach them acrylics or something. And yeah, it's a really good price point, I think. So on to the next one, we're gonna do orange. I really don't even have to squeeze the top of this to get any to come out because it's so liquidy, but I prefer paint like that, so. Alright, we're just going to use this. This orange is really pretty as well. I put a little bit too much of this down. <laughs> no worries, it's easily fixed. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to do some water effects just like I did with the other one. Alright, number two is done. Now we're going to move on to yellow. So I think now that I've done these two, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these in speed time, speed time, speed time lapse, whatever. Um, so you don't really have to listen to me ramble and stuff, and you don't have to watch the same thing over and over again. So commence! Alrighty, so now that the swatches are done, I kind of want to show them to you since they have dried. And uh, they, they're they basically matte. They're matte to me. I don't know why they say that they are not, um, but satin, because they look and feel matte to me. Um, one thing I want to try doing now is mixing colors. And if you'll notice, the one color I do not have is green. So I am going to try to mix a green. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to be using this paper. We're not going to be using the messy part though. Um, and I'm just going to put a dollop of yellow down. And then a dollop of blue. And I'm going to mix them. Easy as pie. And as you can see, they mix really well. I actually have a few shades in there. There is a dark green, a middle green, and kind of a yellow, yellowy green. And of course, you can vary what you get just by changing how much of what. So we got this dark green because there is a lot of blue. All right. Next color I want to try mixing is orange. Now I know we do have an orange. Whoops, that was two splats instead of one. Um, but I want to try and see what kind of orange we get just by mixing. So there we go. And I'm just going to mix like this. And actually, I could have used a bit more yellow. This red apparently is really strong. It kind of reminds me of ketchup and mustard. Anyway, there we go. It's a pretty orange that we get. Oops, I painted my mat. Oh well. It is very similar to the orange that you get with the actual jug, but I wanted to mix it for myself. And hopefully the camera picks up that orange because it looks red in the viewfinder that I'm looking at right now. So hopefully it picks it up decently because it's not red, I promise, it's orange. Alright, and lastly I want to mix a purple. I probably got too much of that blue. Oh well. What's the point of having art supplies if you don't use them? Here, I'm going to turn the paper so you guys can get a better view. And I'm just going to mix these. I think I have too much blue. But, yeah, I think I do have too much blue. We're going to put some more red on here. Oh, it dripped all over the cap. Alright. More red. There we go, that's a better purpley purple and not a blue-violet. 
Um, it may be hard for you guys to see it, so I will water it down. There, it's a pretty purple. Hopefully my camera picks that up as well because in the viewfinder it looks blue. So, uh, maybe I'm just looking at my viewfinder wrong. But it is not blue, it is in fact a red violet. It's more on the red side than it is the blue side. These paints mix really well, I enjoy them. I think they are fantastic, honestly. Um, you know, you could definitely get by by just getting the red, the yellow, and the blue. And of course, if you mix them all together, they make a brown. And if you mix complementary colors together, you get like a gray, and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, you definitely can, you know, vary what you get just by mixing. And that's the great thing about paint is that you don't really need all of the colors because you can mix them. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into an illustration where I will talk to you further about the stuff about the actual product, you know, the things I haven't mentioned yet, and um, I'm also going to talk about what I think about them, the rating, and the picture. So, let's go ahead and get into it, and I hope to see you over there. Well, it is time to talk about the paint itself. So, along with coming in 500 milliliters and 2 liters, it comes in 20 different colors, and that includes glow-in-the-dark colors and fluorescent colors. It is completely water permanent when dry, um, and it's I think it's good for teaching color theory, so if you're a teacher, this would be a really good thing to invest in. I think it dries matte. Um, I know it says satin, but I feel like it dries more matte. It can be layered for more vibrancy and opacity, um, but they are transparent if you're just using one layer. It's really easy to wash off your hands. If you're not a beginner, I think it's pretty decent for practice or just for fun, you know. And it has a really good price point. They are $10.55 per bottle. A little bit of this does seem to go a long way, which is great. And they are light fast. It's great for teachers and beginners. And, you know, overall, I do think it's really good for young artists. I would definitely... You know, if you're a young artist, I would get this, and so not something higher quality because you don't want to waste your money. Um, you know, for me personally, as a rating, um, it's not going to be as high just because I'm used to higher end quality, so I'm definitely going to give this a 5 out of 10, just because, you know, it's not opaque, it takes a lot of layers, it's student quality, it's, you know, it's just a bunch of things, but if you're a beginner, I would definitely give this at least an 8 out of 10. It's, it's really good for getting into the acrylic scene, I think. So now about the picture, I, I painted this so many times, it wasn't even this picture. I just painted a bunch of pictures and, I don't know, I just felt artistically stumped today. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you have tried these in the past, let me know, you know, what you thought of them. And if you haven't, let me know of another good um, student quality paint that you guys would recommend to beginners. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to become a part of our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on when I upload a new video. I generally upload on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, along with the occasional bonus video. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't. So, until next time, guys, toodaloo! You guys, if you have not, go check her out. Like, right now. That is a demand. Go do it now. She's super talented. She has, like, not enough subscribers. She needs a million. And...